Tesi are represented in few continents and uh, 55 countries. Okay, yeah, let me just uh, show you a, maybe a slide on the, on the presentation, if I can switch that on, uh, or maybe someone can help me. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe I should point it this way. Ah, yeah, okay. okay. So let me just move forward and, and actually show this, uh, this slide. Okay, so this today is present on four continents and we export to um, over 55 markets. We have four product categories. We have a four production, you know, uh, there are a few falls. So four production factories, which are all located in, uh, in Bulgaria, in the northeast of the country in uh, Shumen and Smedovo also. We have close to 1000 people that we employ today and we have 11 nationalities. We, we keep expanding and what I would say is that the pandemic has actually created some new opportunities and uh, new experiences for us because it was for the first time uh, last year that um, I had to recruit people based on online interviews that I have not met in person to this day. For example, this is the head of uh, our Russian market, uh, Vladimir, who is actually performing very well with our Russian team, whom we appointed in the course of last year. And interestingly also, uh, we saw the opportunity last year to start business in South and Southeast Asia. So we actually have a, an employee based in Bangladesh. So there is a huge uh, time zone difference also. It's very hard to well, actually, with Bangladesh, not to that manage that. such kind of team. It's about, it's, about, it's about three hours, but you're right that if you look at the globe and the, and the map that we're, we're showing, we have business uh, in the Far East. We have clients in uh, Taiwan and China. And actually, interesting for your viewers. In South America. Uh, yes. Uh, we actually export um, electric panel convectors to China. Most people import products from, from China. And, <laughs> and so, you export. So do, but we export to Taiwan and to China and also, yes, to South America, as you said. You said 1,000 people. Almost, yeah. Return to the uh, core of your team. So if people in corporate values are in the core, uh, what about your corporate values? Do they help you in all your businesses? Okay, well, let me, let me go back then uh, maybe a couple of slides to, to show this. Actually, it's interesting that you should ask that question um, because, you know, people measure success or they define success differently. Um, you know, I've heard people say, you know, we need to make money. And truly, you know, businesses exist at the end of the day to make money and make profits. But it's uh, what you believe in and what you focus on, um, you know, the, the difference and, and that's how people define the success differently. To us, you know, as a company, we're there to create value and to create partnerships. And we've seen that when we provide value, and yesterday, in fact, we had a discussion with colleagues, what can we do to improve customer experience, to make customers smile when they interact with our products and when they interact with Tessie through all the, the channels where we, uh, we're present. And when you're focused on creating value, to giving people something that uh, is important to them, that caters for their needs, money certainly come and opportunities come. So. It was in 2016, in fact, when we met with you, you remember that in the springtime, we opened uh, a new factory for electric water heaters. This was in, uh, in May, on the 12th of May. Yeah. That same year, it, we had an annual meeting of um, the senior management. And as it normally happens for creative people like me, because I'm also a, a musician, well, I was under the shower. Uh, Interesting yes. topic, I'll return to this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, when I was under the shower, it was like a two half days, you know, this meeting. So after the first half uh, in the evening, I was under the shower and then thinking how the day went and what was coming up the, the following day. I thought it's about time for, for the company. It's a young company, but we have not defined our mission statement, uh, 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 let's say um, uh, values as a company. So then I, I went back to my room and I started sort of uh, pinpointing which are the, the key words that, that spring up to mind that are important to me and I believe are important to our company. So the following morning, I stood in front of uh, my colleagues and I said, look, this is what I came up with uh, under the, the shower last night. Can you, can we identify with those as a company? It's interesting because this started the, the process. So it wasn't just me, I, I only kickstarted that process, yeah. but then what we did was we, we, we had focus groups. So. First, I presented this to the senior management. Then we presented this to the wider management and involved people in working groups 
to consider this and come up with uh, what are the core values uh, according to them. So, so people were involved in the process. Very much so, yes. Creating and they recognize it. Yeah, yeah, because it should be something that is part of a, an organization's DNA. It's not something that you define as, uh, let's say, uh, top management and you, you actually impose on people, on, on the organization, because it's part of their culture. So it's, you know, core values and mission statement is something that one needs to synthesize but it's something that is actually within the DNA of the organization. So that's how we came up with the mission statement for TESI, that TESI is all about warmth, about heating, because this is our focus. You know, we are in the heating, ventilation and air conditioning industry, but we are very focused on heating. And people need to understand that very, very clearly with our mission statement. So we exist there to bring warmth into people's life. So that's how we came up with the mission statement. And then people thought, well, maybe seven values are too many to define and to remember. So all of these were, let's say, synthesized into three. One is about people. So we, we said, well, the, the, the key word there is passion. Because being in the Balkans, and that's where we originate from, let's say, it's not only about our brains devising new products, innovation, and so on, but we work with our hearts. We're temperamental people, and we want people to be passionate and our customers to be passionate about TESI and this to be seen even in the design of our products. In fact, Elena, TESI was the first one to introduce a very nice design in electric water heaters. Up until then, people were looking at the water heater as more of a, let's say, white barrel that you try to hide somewhere in the closet. <laughs> Whereas nowadays, you know, when you look at the TESI design, it's, it's very beautiful. It's fancy. Yeah, it's fancy. It actually fits very nice into your interior. Same applies for electric panel convectors and for, for heat pumps that we and bring And what up. are co your corporate so, values? So core values are three. Passion. So we're passionate uh, as, as people. We, we work with our hearts and minds in everything we do. It's about innovation. So it's about raising the bar, let's say, in our industry. And we have a number of potential solutions. And actually, we have a, a KPI uh, and a goal every year to bring a new innovation into our products. Um, and in fact, we have such in uh, electric water heaters, in panel convectors as well. We, we have a, um, a solution called piston effect in electric water heaters that provides more hot water than the competition. And it's been acknowledged by them, so it's not a marketing trick. And this year we're introducing AirSafe, um, actually a solution combined with electric panel convectors that helps keep, kill germs and viruses in the, uh, in, the, um, in, the, in the home space, let's say, which is very important in the days of pandemic and we believe yet to come. So air treatment is an important topic. And last but not least is trust. Um, this is again related to what I said earlier. We are not a transactional company, we're a partnership organization. So we have a very open and supportive culture for our people. And also we look for long-term partnerships. I talked about Taiwan. We've manufactured for our partner in Taiwan under their brand, electric panel convectors for over 20 years. This speaks about trust. We worked with our partner in South America, in Chile, more than 20 years. We worked with some of the biggest corporates in the HVAC industry, manufacturing under their, their brand names, and they trust Tessie for many years, I would say almost 10 years, because of that. They've seen that. Can we see some numbers or uh, the ge geographic expansion of TESI again? So Yeah, you already mentioned that we were top three ah, electric yeah. water, water heaters. Last year, in terms of business uh, scale again, uh, we turned 73 million euro. I would say that over four years, we managed to double our, our revenues. And this is the, the goal going forward, to actually go up to uh, 150 million euro in the next uh, three to four years. So that's a, let's say, corporate target. A little bit slowed down by the pandemic last year, but we're very much uh, uh, making a very good progress this year. We've existed for 28 years, as, as we said. And something interesting, we are also an environmentally conscious company, where 94%, let's say, of our waste, we, we, we are handling through recycling, or we, we try to recover as well as part of our production processes. Otherwise, um, I already mentioned some of the figures, you know, the four continents, 55 uh, countries, ever expanding, let's say, production facilities and categories. So I will not, let's say, take up time to talk about that again. But uh, talking about geographical expansion, what was actually the first country mm -hmm. you went 
start. <laughs> you, yeah. you, you mentioned partnership is, uh, let's say, the strategy that yeah. uh, helped you, but what was the first? Okay, say, how, let me ask. How you make it, what advices you can give to businesses that want to expand internationally yeah. and are local still? Well, I think that it's only natural for us when we want to, to step out of our comfort zone to start with something that is somewhat familiar and close to us. So it was only natural that um, in the mid 90s, the first country where we started exporting uh, oil field radiators was Russia. Because traditionally, as we know, we tr Bulgaria had trading relations with, with Russia. Uh, the oil field radiators of Smyrna were already exported to those countries. So even after the disintegration of the Comecon, it was, uh, it was, as I said, natural. And we had people speaking Russian who had actually graduated in Russia. So um, the, the management at the time said, well, Bulgaria is too small for us. Where can we actually look for export opportunities? Someone had just come back from Russia, having graduated from university. So that person was posted to Moscow to start <laughs> finding partners and promote, at that time, uh, the possibilities to sell soap and uh, detergents. Creating some uh, trade relations, he managed to identify someone and try to convince them to, in fact, import the first batch of oil field radiators. So that's how it started. 